Did the Giants overpay for Jason Pierre-Paul? Maybe by a little bit. I mean, listen, the franchise tag was steep for them. It was going to be like a $17 million hit. That's in one season. This works out over four seasons, obviously, to be less than 17 guaranteed. Uh, so, so it reduces the cap hit in that respect. But that is a ton of money to pay for a player with, who's lost half a hand and is less effective. He's maybe 80 or 75 percent what he once was. That said, he is still an excellent defensive player, and it gives you some idea of how good he was when he, you know, before the fireworks accident. He was an absolute difference maker on defense. This also indicates, incidentally, the importance the Giants place on defense. When they rebuilt the team last year through free agency, they did it on the defensive side of the ball, and even this year, they still haven't addressed the offensive line. They're spending their money on defense. Here's the deal. Jason Pierre-Paul, the one-handed bandit that he is right now. Uh, <laughs> oh, the, 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 it's the truth. What do you want me to say? Uh, it is the truth. I mean, what, right, I, I, one I, and three is, quarters. Is, is this not first take? Is it the truth? Did I lie? You understand? Does he have two hands? No. The fact of the matter is, is that something's missing. Now, having said all of that, still didn't stop him from being second on the team in sacks with seven. Still didn't have him getting 35 tackles and 18 assists. Still didn't have, this still didn't prevent him from being formidable on that defensive line. And we know what the Giants need. They returned to the playoffs this year. They were formidable this year because their defense showed up. And it wasn't just an improved secondary. It was the fact that you had a couple of dudes who could get at the passer. It was him and Olivier Vernon. So the fact of the matter is, is that when you look at it from that perspective, you had to keep him in tow. Plus, it's a good look to show that you took care of your own. Plus, it didn't prevent you from getting Brandon Marshall, and it shouldn't prevent you from improving that offensive line. With that being the reality, I have no problem with the money that he's gotten. I'm Max Kellerman. Thanks for stopping by. Before you go, hit the button below to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a moment of me taking down Stephen A. Smith.